Hi everyone, this is Terry. In this video, we'll continue with the design database in PE Design 11. The first thing I want to mention for those people who had problems opening up the software, select Windows and go down to your PE Design 11 folder and see if you see the design database in this drop down box. If you do not, you may want to reload your software because you should have the Design Center, Design Database, the Font Creator, the Instruction Manual, and several other files or components of the software here that you should be able to open. The first thing I want to show you is I selected these designs from a folder of designs that I got as a bundle with my Luminaire. And what I did is I cut and pasted these. When you do a cut and paste and you do it in this on the same hard drive, it moves it from one location to the other. I want to put these back where they belong. So I'll select all of the files I'm using my left mouse button and holding it down and dragging it over all of them. I'll right click and I'll choose cut and I'll go to the folder where they belong. And they belong in the Seasons folder. And I'll just right click and paste. Now one of the things you find out when you paste them, they're not in the correct order. You'll see they're down here at the bottom. When I restart the software, they probably would be re-indexed because this is a database and they'd be in the right place. But in order to line them up during this session, I'll choose Details. And I'll click once on File Name. And what that does is puts it in reverse order and I'll click again. Now they're in the correct order and now they're in the correct place within this folder. The next thing I want to show you is about the right window down here on the bottom of the screen. I can send designs to either my USB stick, to my saw machine, if I have the link function, I can send them to a file. I can connect it to a machine and send it to a machine, or I can wirelessly transmit it. So the first thing I'll do, you can see that my hard, um, my USB stick is attached to my computer, and it needs to be attached for it to appear in this window, because if I removed it, you would not see it highlighted here. And if I wanted to take a couple of designs and copy them to the USB stick, such as this tree, and let's hold down the control key and we'll select uh, this leaf, and we'll use a down arrow. What it does is it writes it down to this space below, and now I can send that or write it to my USB drive. You can see that it's finished outputting, and it's no longer here on my write list because it's written it to that drive. Now, the other thing that I can do is send it directly to my machine wirelessly. Prior to this video, I went upstairs and started up my, my machine. I had to go back and reset my Wi-Fi settings because it will not remember the Wi-Fi settings whenever they're off for a period of time. And you have to be on the same Wi-Fi setting. And by that, I mean, in my case, and let me go to my Wi-Fi, I need to choose the 2.4 setting to be able to send that. It will not work with the, the higher speed setting. So uh, I will select this leaf and send it to the right and we'll go ahead and select this corn as well and now if I want to send these two designs to the to the machine I can do that if I select the machine and choose right what it did is it wrote the first file it did not send both of them so I'll go ahead and select the second one and choose right and I could have sent them all at the same time but you notice they're still here in my right box, even though they've been sent to the machine. I'll select them both, and I'll choose Delete. That removes them from the writing list. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is 
that you can write it to a card and that's one of the cards like I had an older version of PE design I believe it was eight and it had a read write box you can send it to a card and you can also send it to a little um, SD card as well the last thing that I wanted to mention was that when you are looking at your options here you can go into your machine settings and set up your sewing machine here if your sewing machine is is not set up you would choose add this is the same process that you go through whenever you set up your Wi-Fi settings and layout and editing when I started this up it did not appear so I had to add it again I hope that brother makes uh, some changes to to the software so that it will retain these settings if I wanted to see what all of these designs would look like if they were printed out the best thing for me to do is to go to the detail view because there are so many designs here and if I wanted to select all of these I'll, I'll select the last one and I'll scroll up to the first one and hold the shift key and now I selected all those designs now I'll go to file and I'll choose print setup and the reason I'm doing print setup instead of preview is I can choose which kind of print layout I want the first one is going to be an individual page and it, for each of those 70 designs I would have an individual page I've chosen to be in portrait view. I can either look at the color either by color changes or total colors. Typically I like to look at color changes. And I can look at the name of the thread either by thread name or code. We'll change this to code and we'll choose print preview. Now what happens is you get an individual preview of each of the pages and you'll notice that and we'll zoom in. So we'll choose the zoom in button. This is showing embroidery is a, the thread name and it's number 507 and 107. Let's zoom back out again. And it shows the size of the design, the width and the height and the stitch count. If I use this arrow right here, I can move through the pages of those designs. Let's just close this. Let's go back and to that same menu and let's look at it with four designs on the page and this time we'll use total colors and we'll also choose name and we'll do print preview. In this case, and we'll zoom in, you can see that, let me zoom in a little bit more. You can see that it tells you the color of the thread, emerald green and dark fuchsia. And then it will tell me that there are two colors in that design. But in the case where a color is repeated in the sewing order, you're not going to get the information you need. So, you, so consider that whenever you're making this selection. You can move through the pages using your arrow and we'll choose close. So the next setting is to see more of those designs. We'll go back to color changes and we'll choose the code and we'll go ahead and choose print preview again. Now you can see that you have 12 designs on the page with all of the color changes and this would be good to, to organize all of your embroidery designs in, in a notebook so that you knew what designs you own. If you're like me, you have CDs and uh, I even have some things on floppy disks that I cannot use any longer, but you probably have uh, USB sticks. You probably have designs everywhere. The next thing is to select all of the information about a design and we'll choose that and we'll choose print preview and this is going to give you the most information it'll show you the stitch count the name the size of the design the code for the embroidery thread and it also gives you a description of the name so this 
is how I would choose to print something out if I wanted to sit down at my machine and stitch out this particular design. It would be a fast way to use it. I'll choose clothes. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them and share them with your friends. And thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Goodbye.